Hi viewers, this is Vetuvel. Today we can discuss about how to export and import the case entity data into CRM. Let's begin. By defaultly in your case entity you have the data. Suppose you are going to import the external data into CRM means you need to map the external data in your case entity. For that we need to download the template from the CRM. So now login to CRM and go to the case entity and choose the my active case and download the Excel. So now you can see here. So once you download the Excel, you can able to see your data. So open the Excel sheet. you can see here by default you have the case title case number and the customer and the priority and the owner status resolution and the status region and the rating so if you want this is a template in the template you need to map your external data for example so i am going to open one of the my external data so that data i need to map with case entity so you can see here this data is different so the uh, this having the contact name and the ticket id subject to ticket owner and a priority and a created time so now we are going to import the this data into our uh, crm so i am uh, taking the three values and I will show you how to import data, data into CRM. So if he does not having the column name in CRM, so you can skip it. What are the column having in the CRM? That column value only you need to map the data. If you don't have the, any contact in the CRM, you need to mm, create the contact. So contact means here the customer, customer entity having the contact. Open the new sheet and paste the value. So this is the contact name. So this contact having in CRM, you need to verify the first. So go to the contact and click the all contact. You can see here uh, that contact name is does not listed here. So we need to create the new contact. Once created the contact, you can save and close. So go to Excel sheet and copy this contact and paste here. Same the case title is here. Here is subject name. The case number is 28827. So here the CRM will support the case number, number and the character. So you can also mention your case number, only the number 28865. 
so here you need to choose the case priority low or normal or high so i am going to choose the critical the case owner so i am choosing the my name the status equal to active or resolve i am going to resolve click the status reason now as well problem resolved so the rating field you can leave it blank so we don't need to feed the data in the column so once the map of the value into your template just save the excel so you can uh, import the data in CRM using the different format it will support excel and comma separate value so i am going to save this file as a csv format okay. so now we are going to import the this excel sheet in our case entity in crm so you can navigate to cases You can directly import your excel file here otherwise you can go to advanced settings in settings you need to go the data management and the import now click the import data choose the file open the file and click next so file contain the 2 KB click the next automatic default mapping so we need to this is a source data file so we need to map our this record type here we are going to import the data in case entity so you need to choose the case entity so the mapping has been succeed so click next so here some of the column is not mapped in so we need to ignore this one Click next. So you can choose the owner of the record by default by having the owner of the record. So click the next the import. After you can able to see the your file in import section. Just uh, refresh the page. Now we have um, imported the excel file so we can see here the error error is five error just to click the file and view the log so here go to the failure section and here so the customer does not could not be resolved because the the customer cannot able to find out in the CRM back other record should be already existing this is a duplicate record so now we are going to close this one and again modify the our template so for example I am going to choose the customer
custom resume ini and you can delete the existing records so now we are going to import this to record in CRM save and now we can delete this file now we can import again I click the next we have submitted the value and we are going to refresh our still the transforming so we need to wait the couple of minutes so now so we are going to check our CRM you can see here so we have successfully imported the data one record but still we have facing the one more error so we need to figure out that error to resolve the issues so go to the failure section the state code is invalid, invalid. so by default I have given the resolved state so case number two dub two double eight double two is imported successful but one case is not imported so you can go to the status code is the problem so we need to click this the status code is here resolved you can delete the first case so now we are going to import this record into CRM so go to the import section again import the data So we need to map the case number to customer subject. So otherwise we can ignore the field. So now we have submitted the file just to refresh. So now you can see here the partial failure so now we are going to refresh the case you can see here there we have successfully imported the second record as well so like that you can able to import your data into CRM thanks for watching